you do? Well, I appreciate all of you joining us here today to kick off Just Say No Week. Before I begin, I want to give a long-distance hello to Senator Paula Hawkins. Senator Hawkins has been a loyal warrior in the battle against drug abuse. So, long distance, Senator, thank you for all you've done and best wishes for a speedy recovery. When our team got to Washington nearly five and a half years ago, we pledged to put America's house in order. Well, that required more than economic reform and bolstering our national defense. Our country was threatened by an epidemic of drug abuse it's been growing in intensity since the 1960s. By 1980, illegal drugs were every bit as much a threat to the United States as enemy planes and missiles. The plague was fueled by an attitude of permissiveness, both public and private. America was losing its future by default. Early in our administration, I issued a challenge. Americans in and out of government, I said, should do all we can to defeat the drug menace threatening our country. And I'm pleased that many of you who were there when I issued that challenge are with us today. I'm also grateful for all the hard work and long hours that you've committed to this truly noble endeavor. The first thing we did was take down the surrender flag and raise the battle flag. Together we beefed up our enforcement arm, and today more arrests are being made and more narcotics are being seized than ever before. Today, there's also more communication and effective coordination between the levels of government and department and agencies than many believe was possible. We are indeed trying to do everything government can do to combat drug traffickers. But just as important, well, I happen to think more important, we've enlisted the American people in this battle. Parents, service clubs, youth organizations responded to our call. We found prominent citizens, captains of industry, singers, actors, and athletes, individuals who young people look up to were more than willing to do their part. Why? Well, because they love people and they love this country. What we've got to do now is make certain that we continue to give our young people, like the ones with us here today, the support and backing they need to just say no to drugs. There's someone else here who shares these sentiments. She was a favorite of mine even before she got involved in this issue. <laughs> However, I will have to confess that she's made me such a proud husband in these last few years. Nancy was and still is the motivational force behind the Just Say No movement. It all started in elementary school in Oakland, California during the summer of 1984. She was talking to a class about drug abuse and out of her discussion with the youngsters came the idea of just say no clubs. And from that very day, the idea snowballed. Clubs came into being first in California, then they started up in towns and cities all across the country and overseas. On Thursday of this week, Nancy will participate in the international Just Say No walk with hundreds of thousands of young people around the globe. Because of these grassroots efforts, all of us, inside government and out, are seeing a change of attitude about drug abuse. Public awareness has increased dramatically in the past several years, and our children are more aware of the dangers of drugs now than ever before. By educating our children about the dangers of drugs, we're going to dry up the drug market and kick the dope peddlers right out of this country. Every time Nancy and I meet this country's wonderful young people, we feel more confident that we're going to win this battle. To our country's young people, I say, we're so proud of each of you who has rejected drugs and also those of you who have overcome drug problems. Your courage and commitment have not gone unnoticed. You have a special place in our hearts. And now, before I sign the proclamation, I'd like to introduce the champ who's been leading this battle, Nancy. <laughs> At the beginning of this year, someone asked me if I wanted to make a New Year's wish, and I said yes, and it was that I'd like to see every young person in the world 
join the Just Say No to Drugs Club. Well, just the fact that Congress has proclaimed Just Say No Week, and in light of all the activities taking place, it seems that my wish is well on its way to coming true. I'm so proud of all the young people, the parents, the citizens in cities and towns across the nation, the government, and everyone else who is helping to create what I believe is the final solution to this problem. And that's a way to teach every one of our children to just say no to drugs. The future of the world lies in their hands, and we must all come together in their name to end drug and alcohol abuse once and for all. Again, thank you so much for what you're doing and for joining us here today. Thank you. Now, and now I'll sign the proclamation. This is the only news I want to make this morning. Right here in about this. Thank you. Very much. 